Episode 6 of Off the Beaten Track, we drive the old coast road on California's Pacific coast near Big Sur. As usual, the GPX file for this track is linked in the description below and available in the Overland Bound OB1 app. This single lane dirt track takes us through 10 miles of shelf roads, redwood stands, single lane bridges, and tops it all off with amazing views out over the Pacific Ocean. And we've just turned on to the old coast road, or coast road as it's signposted. Turning off from the Pacific Coast Highway, PCH, at Bixby Bridge. And in fact, Bixby Bridge was built in 1932 to bypass this road. So prior to the opening of that bridge, this was the way, the only way that you could travel down the coast from San Francisco to Los Angeles. And uh, just looking at this, it's hard to imagine how you would take a stagecoach over some of these roads. It looks pretty precarious indeed. But um, the Bixby Bridge is sort of famous for the novel Big Sur, written by the American author Jack Kerouac. And he actually stayed in a cabin that is in this creek to the right of us here. The location is not well known, it's not publicized, but it's still there, I believe. And uh, he stayed in that cabin and wrote his novel, Big Sur. And um, it is on private property these days, so it is not possible to actually go exploring and find that. But a little piece of history there. And this area coming up here is actually the viewing or one of the viewing areas for the Bixby Bridge or the Bixby Creek Bridge. And uh, I think most vehicles that come up this road turn around just about here. And, you know, they come up for the photo opportunity. It is actually a pretty amazing view down to the bridge, which we'll stop in just a moment here and uh, try and try and show you how that looks. And yeah, this, this, as I said, this used to be the coast road. This was it. Of course, the PCH now is the main coast road along the Pacific Ocean. And we'll just find a little spot here in a moment and pull over and we'll show you the view from this angle. Yeah, so this is our view down to the Bixby Bridge and the Pacific Ocean beyond there, obviously. The shelf road on the right that you can see is where we just came up. And we're about to head in another 10 miles or so here along this track. We have never been this way before, but, you know, in our research, we have a little bit of an idea of what is ahead of us. I know there are a bunch of these shelf roads and also we've seen various uh, redwood groves and pretty excited to see those. And we're traveling down now to, you know, sort of the low point here in the creek. I believe there is a bridge there and it uh, will cross the creek, the Bixby Creek. And that is at the bottom of this gorge here. And the Bixby Bridge there on the right as we travel down into the base of the creek. And I will say this video is going to run a little longer than some of the other videos in this series. Um, not too much 
but I will point out that we do have chapter markers that you can find in the description below and depending where you are watching you can also see those below the video or alongside the video. And this looks like the first of the single lane bridges that we expect to find on this route. Pausing here, it's a pretty serene spot actually. This is the Bixby Creek and this is the creek that runs in the gorge down to the Bixby Bridge. Passing through this gatekeeper here, I think this serves dual purpose as a gatekeeper for width and also a road closed mechanism. In wet weather this road is impassable and I'm not surprised I would not want to come down here in the wet. So I believe to the left of us is the Sierra Creek down below and this is one of the redwood stands or redwood groves, I'm not sure what the right term is. And if you've seen any photographs of this route this is what you have probably seen the redwoods up here and this is pretty amazing
that was very cool indeed. And of course, the only vehicle we've seen today with passes in that area. Um, the road here is getting noticeably... Well, I mean, obviously we're going uphill, or we are going uphill if it's not obvious from the video. Um, the road is less graded here and noticeably narrower. And from what I've read, the road does get rougher towards the middle and the south part of the track. Although, distance-wise, we really haven't traveled very far so far. I think we're a couple of miles in. But again, these redwood stands that we're passing through here are very Instagram photogenic and you if you have ever looked up this location this is probably you know what you will have seen it uh, should be said that this is a county road passing through private land and so there is absolutely no camping and no fires up here and I believe there are stiff fines if you are caught, caught doing so. And also, um, you know, there are pretty well posted no trespassing signs all along the sides of the track. So please observe those who do want to keep these tracks open for everyone. Great views here to the right over the Pacific Ocean. And we're sort of cresting this ridge here, leaving the Sierra Creek behind us. And now we're going to descend toward the Little Sur River, which is in the valley in front of us. And this is. Um, I think this part of the track is so far the roughest part of the track that we've seen. Um, it is um, quite rutted coming down here. It's fairly overgrown at the side too. So far in terms of you know vehicle choice and vehicle selection and uh, appropriateness for this track. I mean, obviously, we're in the power wagon, and it doesn't... Uh, I don't think it's even noticed that we're not on a paved road. But I'd say that a high-clearance vehicle would be recommended. I know that probably people come through here in all kinds of vehicles, but... Uh, you know, just here and there, you'll find either a rocky patch, or you'll find, you know, like a rutted-out area. We're in late summer and it's pretty baked at this point, so, you know, it's, uh, I think, probably right after spring. And depending when this place is graded, this road is graded, it's probably where you would find the roughest area. And the Little Sur River is to the left of us down below. So we're just going to gingerly go down this. It's quite rocky too, actually, at this point. It's quite steep. So we're gonna go quite gingerly, as I said, pretty carefully coming down here.
Yeah, it's pretty bumpy. And some of these turns are quite tight, actually. And if you look up, you can see the track that we just came down. So, you know, it's a 100 or 200 feet uh, drop off right off the edge of a lot of these tracks, right down to the bottom. So, you know, be careful, I guess is all I would say. We're, we're taking it uh, particularly slowly. I know that I've seen a couple of YouTube videos where people have come through this a lot faster than we're doing. But uh, I believe it's better to be safe than to be sorry. And we're coming here to the first of a couple of one lane bridges. Um, they both cross the Little Sur River. There are actually two forks of the river. They're, I think it's the South Fork and then the Little Sur River proper. And so I think the first one, this one here, is the Little Sur. 15 miles per hour on bridge for vehicles over 10 tons. Well, first of all, I couldn't even imagine bringing a 10 ton vehicle down here. And second of all, who can do 15 miles an hour through this area? I suppose the sign wouldn't be there if they hadn't had a problem with that. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, so this is the bridge over the Little Sur, I think. Please correct me in the comments below if I'm incorrect about that. And then there's a second one-lane bridge coming up here which I believe is the um, south fork of the Little Sur River, I think. It looks like this area is fenced on both sides, and I guess trespassing must have been a problem in the past here. And it's right about here where the GoPro battery died. Switching over here to the Rove dash cam, unfortunately this means the quality is probably going to be pretty poor compared to the GoPro. And this is Mike. We stopped and talked to Mike for about 15 minutes. Mike is 73 year resident of this area and his family go back four generations in the area and it's pretty fascinating hearing some of his stories about the area. So I believe that is the Bixby Mountain ahead of us. 
Come with us now as we crest the final ridge and descend the final few miles to rejoin the PCH below. Coast Road rejoins PCH here, it's right at the Andrew Malera State Park. There is a small parking area here to the left of us. So we're heading north here on the PCH from Big Sur towards Monterey and just around the corner here is the Bixby Bridge. So this is the bridge that bypassed the Old Coast Road when it was completed in 1932. So we're gonna cross the bridge now on our way home. Gotta say, this route must have been a lot quicker when it was finished. And I tend to think of these bridges as modern, but this was built in the 30s, so I guess the traffic back then would have been very different. And then over here to our right, you can see the path of the Old Coast Road. So thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not give us a like? And if you want to see more of our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.